Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on the old show today, you probably read in the headlines or heard in the headlines here recently that a little company called Takata out of Japan is actually in a weird situation where there's a massive recall involving their airbags. The airbags actually, when they deploy, the propellant that they're using, propellant canister has actually been exploding in some situations, especially in more humid type situations where the vehicle may be involved in. And these canisters exploding actually are sending shrapnel of metal all over the inside of the machines and actually hurting and in some cases taking the lives of some of the occupants inside of the car when the airbag deploys in the case of an accident. Now the trick is this folks over at Takata is a very small organization and this type of deal was probably going to cripple this organization and over the past several months as this has been going on I really thought that this Takata group was just basically going to have to go out of business because there's no way they're going to be able to build as many airbags as needed especially for no money being made on their end very small little uh, supplier group just cannot handle this type of big deal as far as the lawsuits that may come afterwards and everything as such. So I really thought that this was going to be a weird situation. This Takata airbag thing is all over the place. In fact, some of the rarest cars on the planet, the only 1,500 Ford GTs that were built from the Ford Motor Company back in the mid-2000s, yeah, those particular machines were also have Takata airbags and are involved in this recall. Now, if you want to know if your vehicle is involved in this, just take the VIN number or the VIN number. You can find it actually at the base of the windscreen. There'll be a small opening where you can see in and you'll see a number. There's a number of different websites, a number of government websites that you can go in, type in your VIN number and see if your vehicle is involved in this recall. Then you can get a hold of the appropriate dealership to try to get your vehicle in to get these airbags replaced. Now, if back to the situation, Takata probably only has the capacity let's say for the sake of argument, of building somewhere around 100,000 brand new airbags a year. Well, the fact is that the, well, the recall is now in the millions of automobiles around the world, so they're really going to have to ramp up production. And how are they going to handle this financially? Well, there is a financial group called the Samatomo Matsua Financial Group, who have actually come to the aid of Takata and said that they will fund this particular deal if so, if Takata actually needs the funds to actually finish this particular project and get these airbags into the brand new or into the automobiles that they need to go into. There's also another organization that's going to help them out as well, and it's the folks over at the Honda Motor Corporation. They actually own a portion of the Takata Group. And then in an interesting little situation after this announcement, another announcement came down that actually, while the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration have been looking into the Takata situation, they looked into Honda as well and found out that there are a number of accidents that involved injuries and resulted in deaths that the Honda Motor Corporation has yet to devolve to the actual National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This is a huge no-no when it comes to these folks that you're supposed to give up all the information of any accident that could have gone anywhere around the country involving your automobiles, which means that Honda has now been laid the smack down on top of it with a massive fine in this particular situation. Two payments of 35 million U.S. dollars. Yes, that's 70 million dollars in total, which is the maximum that a car company can be uh, fined for this particular infraction. So, very, very interesting little situation. The folks over at Honda are working very closely with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, aka NHTSA, to actually alleviate this problem and get on the right track. And a little bit happier news, the folks over at the Viper and SRT and Dodge are actually showing off this particular machine as there's going to be a brand new Viper that's going to be in the 2015 model year. And it's going to be called the GTC 1 of 1. Now, what do you get? Well, you get a fantastic amount of customization when it comes to this particular machine. If you decide to buy a brand new Viper GTC, you will be hooked up with a Viper Concierge Consultant, which will help you in this particular process. 
Now this vehicle comes with a fantastic amount of customization options. There's six different aero options as far as spoilers and, and splitters and whatnot, as far as the aero side that you can choose from. There's also 16 different interior options that you can choose from on this deal. Also, 10 different wheel options that you can get on this particular machine. And then when it comes to the paint and the finish and the stripes, You'll be hard-pressed to believe what they've got in store for you. Just as far as the paint options are concerned, over 8,000 colors are in this option palette. And when it comes to the striping, 24,000 different options. In fact, the Viper Group has already said that there are over 25 million different options that you can choose from in this particular deal, which is dizzying. Now, once you actually come to a, uh, well, a consensus of what you want as far as the color and the striping, the Viper Group will actually send you a little mock-up, a little 18th scale plug that shows off the paint color and the striping to make sure everybody's on the same page and you're okay with this. But here's the interesting thing. Once you sign on the dotted line and say, yes, I want this orange color, yes, I want these gray stripes, that color and that stripe are taken out of the Viper palette for the year, the, the model year that you're ordering. Which means there can't be another one of these on the planet for that particular model year. Which means it really will be a one-of-one one machine. So a very intriguing little process. It's an extra $10,000 on top of the GTC, but with that $15,000 price dump, this is still well inside of being an actual cheaper vehicle than what the GTS was selling for a couple of year, year or so ago. So, this is a pretty intriguing little situation when it comes to this machine. A one-of-one one Viper GTC. Last up on the list, the folks over at Nissan just announced, actually the day of the taping of this particular program, that they're hooking up with an organization to help them in their autonomous situation. Yeah, they've been working on autonomous technology for the past couple of years, especially for the brand new Nissan LEAF. I guess you can't call it brand new, it's been around for a couple of years. But this new autonomous technology, they're wanting to take it to the next level. And they've hooked up with an organization with maybe a tad bit higher power, if you will. They've hooked up with NASA, interestingly enough. And the NASA group is actually gonna help out Nissan. They're gonna work on products, they're going to work on technology, they're going to work on actual component trees, and they're going to do a lot of the testing for this brand new machine out at the NASA facility out in California, in hopes that a brand new Nissan Leaf for the 2016 model year will be available fully autonomous for the states that make it available that you can go fully autonomous. So, very interesting little situation when it comes to the folks over at Nissan. And that is all that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, link's down in the show notes. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs of the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.